Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about looking at environmental impact predictions and using baseline studies and how important it is to understand a different timeline and how projects likely impact your environment. I'm going to begin by drawing an X and Y axis and we're going to put time down here on the bottom on the X axis. And then we're going to talk about a VEC. So we're going to talk about an implementation of a mining project and a valued ecosystem component, so your VEC, of water quality. Often we know that mines impact water quality. So we're going to have water as our VEC. And this is what we're going to be looking at and how it changes over time. And this is how we're going to determine if this mine project is going to have an impact. So let's draw our mine here in the middle of the timeline and then we're going to have a discussion about how our baseline is going to be impacted by this mining project. So our first understanding and study that we need to look at and how our water quality is going to change over time is what's happened in the past. This is the history of the environment and this region here is called your retrospective baseline. So if you think about it, it's just basically your past condition. And this, you would look at using desktop studies, talking to esper experts, going to historical um, accounts to determine what is your water quality happening, what's happening with your water quality historically. Now, the other condition of your baseline is what's happening right now. What is happening if you go out to the site, scoop some water, sample it for water quality, this is your direct baseline. And this is often the easiest to analyze, the cheapest to analyze. You just go to the site and you know exactly what's happening. Now, in order to determine what is happening with your mining project on your valued ecosystem component, you need to predict what the likely change in water quality would be without the mining project. So, you want to understand how is the environment going to change when there's no mining project. Your water quality is going to change anyways. There's human impacts that are going to impact quality. So you want to be predicting what that change is. Now the next piece of information that you need to acquire is what would happen if you implement the mine. So you're going to use scenario building, different simulation models to determine what would happen with the mine being implemented. So the difference that you see here between the two, between no mine occurring and the mine occurring, is your likely predicted impact from the mine on your valued ecosystem component, which is in fact your water. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.